Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So on today's video, I want to be giving you guys a look at the Sega Design Blue Planet. Now, I appreciate that this watch has been reviewed out there so much on YouTube. And in fact, I saw this on YouTube myself. And when I saw it, it didn't do anything special for me, unfortunately. I was just like, okay, that looks interesting. However, Sega Design contacted me uh, a couple of months ago, offering me a chance to have a look at this. So then that's when I got more intrigued because at least I'll be able to get my own hands on this uh, and to have a look at it for myself and just see how good it really is because it is a, a little feat of engineering from Sega Design. Now, as you guys are also aware that they have won numerous awards, the GPHG plus, I don't know, all sorts of accolades that they have. You know, Sega Design are a heavily decorated uh, brand and they get all these Swiss kind of awards um, that Swiss watchmakers don't seem to get. So for me, Sega Design, I mean, are they just chasing awards now? Uh, are they a bit of a gimmick? Who knows? Uh, it's difficult to tell. But they have released a newer version of this Blue Planet, which is a gold and black ceramic, which I believe is probably a little bit more interesting, a bit more exciting. And at least in the video and pictures that um, people have had in the reviews, uh, it looks a lot better, especially that full ceramic bracelet. Uh, and that black and gold sort of glow that they have. So this is the Blue Planet, I believe. What is it called yet? Yeah, Blue Planet U-Series by Sega Design. And you know, no doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, guys, that this is uh, some different level of engineering. Uh, with that kind of sapphire crystal giving you these sort of awesome visuals, uh, it is simply stunning. But what kind of piece is this? I mean, it's uh, $1,200. So going back to what I said, what kind of piece is it? Is it a daily piece? Is it something that you only wear on special events is it a piece which the only way to spark some conversation and you see lots of watches like this i'd call them gimmicky maybe or novelty watches and especially with sigurd design the previous models have been very out there but in terms of you guys watching can you see yourselves wearing these watches uh, on a daily basis actually using them to tell the time uh, making them practical or as i said something that is going to sit there and look pretty effectively so I think this model is probably the most user-friendly from the Sega design range as of late. Uh, so that's a positive. Um, and yeah, it does look quite unique. And I think that curvature and that sapphire, I love how they've got that dome just right. If you look at the case profile and that peak on that dome, um, you know, under certain angles, it gives you a great look across, you know, the globe or what is meant to be the globe. Uh, and then that blueing on the AR can look like the ozone layer, etc. So... That is truly stunning, um, no shadow of a doubt. And the dial, heavily detailed. You've got all these little, uh, I think, cnc um of the Earth's surface, those different continents, etc. Then you've got your compass point, um, which is the way you also tell the time. So if we unscrew that crown, or it's not screwed on crown, sorry, it's just push-pull. And you follow that star let's say or compass point and that gives you your time so that's 10 15 10 10 10 or 5 etc right now is it easy to read on wrist so if you were to just turn your wrist over check the time can you easily tell the time you definitely can't uh, you, you would have to wait a couple of seconds to you know have a look at it now with regards to specs and dimensions I will put them up on screen uh, you've got a domed sapphire crystal steel case um, you've got actually a mineral glass on the see-through case back you've got a high beat movement um, Sig design state it's their own modified movement or it's a movement which has been um, developed by themselves um, I, I don't know if it is or not um, I know it's a Possibly a clone of a Seagull, uh, SD2130 more than likely, or it may be a PT5000, but I'm not too sure. They're not very really forthcoming with that. Um, and with regards to you know modification of the movement or development, um, th they've done a fair bit, right? You know they've made it so the inner ring and the globe kind of seem to turn together. Um, however, there is still a ghost position, so position one, that's where the date would have been. Uh, so you still get ghost position and I get it sometimes it's impossible to remove the ghost position but the date window is not present so which is good um, but yeah we're going to test the movement as well see how accurately this movement is running um, but yeah there's not a whole lot to the watch but there is loads to it if that makes sense um, it's something stunning to look at but in terms of you know the things that we can talk about or things we talk, usually talk about there's not a whole lot um, if we take a look at the nice little crown uh, as I said push pull uh, nicely machined, fits straight into that you know circular case. 
Um, the finishing is immaculate and I love just that fit and finish of the crystal again pointing towards that uh, gorgeous visual you get. Uh, now Sega Design do provide you with a strap and this strap has got quick release bars so we are going to put this on wrist. So here's the Sega Design U series U Planet on my six and a half inch wrist and uh, it's 46 millimeters round uh, and it's okay you know it does fit really well um, it's in the center uh, it's actually I'm um, surprisingly um, and surprisingly it looks and surprisingly it looks quite good um, it's definitely wearable but again in terms of I don't know practicality day-to-day -day stuff I really don't see it um, if anybody out there is actually using one practically daily please do let me know because I would be interested in hearing from you guys so let's put this on the time grapher and let's summarize now on the time grapher, it seems to be running quite good to be honest. Um, plus one second of the daily rate, very high and healthy amplitude of 332 degrees and a 0 to 0.1 beat error. As you can see the higher B rating. Um, so I've got no issue with that movement. Very accurate uh, and high B. So should give you great reliability I think. So in order to summarize, you know, $1,200, this is what the price is. In terms of finishing on the case, it is beautiful, right? Very nicely done. I mean, the, the dimensions of this case, the proportion, how it feels in hand is super sleek, nice. Uh, I love that sapphire crystal, already told you guys about that, uh, and the way that sits, perfect. But I would never spend $1,200 on a watch that may be more novelty uh, than anything. Um, so let me know your thoughts. You know, is this something that you could see yourself spending the money on? Um, you know, how would you treat this watch if you had it? So let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm more interested in that. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.